All right, everybody, I'm uh, back from moving, and now uh, it's time for more history, as I promised. So let's uh, let's delve in. Uh, this episode is the Han Dynasty. For 400 years, from 202 BC to AD 220, China was ruled by the emperors of the Han Dynasty. They were more lenient and stable than the Qin and practiced fair Confucian principles of law and administration. The early Han. The dynasty was founded by Lu Bang, a commoner who was popular because he relaxed harsh laws, cut taxes, and favored the people. The capital was Chang'an, which after 100 years became the world's largest city. It was at the end of the Silk Road, along which China traded with Persia and Rome. Han China saw itself as the Middle Kingdom, the center of the world. There was a great flowering of culture, wealth, and learning. At this time, Han China was large and developed as the extensive Roman Empire. The Han developed systems of administration by highly educated officials called mandarins. People who wanted to work as public officials had to take an examination on the writings of Confucius. The Martial Emperor Wu Di, the Martial Emperor, reigned for 55 years from 151 BCE. 141 BCE, sorry. He added part of Central Asia, Korea, and much of southern China to his empire. At great expense, he beat back the Chongyu, known as the Huns, of Mongolia, who had raided China. It improved the Mandarin administration, built schools, canals, cities, and buildings, and encouraged foreign contact. Buddhism was introduced to China during its high point in this century-long history. Wang Mang During the following century, the Han grew weak. While the nobles grew ever stronger, a courtier, Wang Mang, rebelled, took power, and ruled from CE 9 to 23. He included many changes and reforms favoring the people against landowners and nobles, and reforming land rights and the judicial system. Eventually, the nobles overthrew Wang Mang, and the Han dynasty was restored. The later Han. The Han produced exquisite objects of wood, lacquer, and silk. They also replaced many of the writings that had been destroyed by the Qin. Chinese inventors were far ahead of the rest of the world. Their invention of paper took centuries to reach the West. Many of the cities they built were larger and elegant. However, the population had grown, and rebellions among landless and poor peasants became frequent. Barbarians again attacked the borders, and warlords took over the army. The last Han emperor gave up his throne in AD 220, and the empire fell apart.